Okay, welcome to the official review of Giuseppe Makes a Movie. It's a documentary directed by Adam Rifkin, who's known for doing films like Look and Detroit Rock City, also writing, writing screenplays for movies like Small Soldiers, Zoom, Underdog, uh, Chill Around, I think he also directed, uh, helped direct that film as well. But this is his brand new film and it's a documentary and it follows the most unique individual I hope to meet someday. And I felt like I got to meet him through this documentary. His name is Giuseppe Andrews. He lives in Ventura, California. And he's been working in the business, working on big budget films like Independence Day and Unstrung Heroes and of course uh, Detroit Rock City, which he actually was directed by Adam Rifkin. So that's how they met. And so they have had this relationship and this friendship for the last 20 years or 10 years or so and he just loves to make movies. He has a passion and doesn't have the money or, or uh, maybe the talent but he has the passion and I think that's what really matters and I think that's what this movie is showing that he has the passion. So here is our official review. I'm going to take it on to Derek. Derek will say his thoughts about the film and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how I felt about the movie. Hi everybody, I'm Derek Easley. I'm an actor, writer, filmmaker and I'm so glad to be sharing uh, this evening and this experience with my good buddy Chad Gleason, Movie Man Chad, and we're doing this review for uh, Giuseppe Makes a Movie. Uh, a big shout out to the LA Film Festival. Please support them. Check them out on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, check out their website. Um, and they just do some great programming here at this festival, and they did a fantastic job choosing this documentary tonight, Giuseppe Makes a Movie. Um, like I said, I'm a filmmaker myself. I just wrapped on a low-budget horror feature film. Uh, Chad and I are part of an organization. Like I said earlier, I'm a filmmaker. I just wrapped in a low-budget feature film, and Chad and I are part of an organization called the Long Beach Acting and Film Association. And we shoot a short film every single month, and we shoot on 5Ds, 7Ds, we shot stuff on Reds and, and um, Black Magics, and one of our last films we just shot, we shot on iPhones and, uh, and Androids. And this movie is just so inspiring for filmmakers. I want everyone who is a filmmaker or an actor to see this film. Uh, that is so freeing uh, about you know low budget, low budget filmmaking and passion and storytelling and there's some great human characters in this film with this kind of colorful troupe of people that Giuseppe Andrews brings together. Um, he you know I feel uh, probably struggled a bit in his life as well most likely with uh, some addiction or homelessness or whatever and he's living in a trailer park in Ventura. He currently now lives in uh, Austin, Texas with his producer and his girlfriend. But this movie chronicles his time in a trailer park in a Ventura where he is employing a lot of kind of down and out or homeless people uh, to act in his films and he shoots 25, 30 films and um, a lot of them are profane in uh, the content with the dialogue. Um, but he does this lyrical rhyming type thing with the stuff he writes and it's fantastic. I cheered very early on when he was like, continuity, F continuity, blah blah, it's just about the story. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, we're dealing with continuity issues on my feature film right now. I just love that line. And I just feel the movie was really inspirational as a filmmaker and also as a human being, seeing compassion for other people and um, uh, interesting situations and who have lived life. There's a guy named Vietnam Ron who's profiled in the movie who has really gone through some hardship in his life. Um, oh, we're losing light. Um, so see you. Oh, how are you? Oh, a fantastic cast of characters. There was a, a man named Vietnam Ron who had obviously gone through a very interesting life and had fallen on lots of hardship. And um, it was just a great human story, you know, seeing these actors and real people, um, apologize for the door over there, um, uh, participate in this film and uh, the documentary and then be a part of so many of Giuseppe's um, independent short film. So I love the film. I'm going to try to spread the word about the film. I suggest all filmmakers and actors try to find a way to watch this movie. That's fantastic. A big shout out to the cast, crew, and to Giuseppe. I love it. I want to meet you. I want to work. Well, this room is always changing. All this is exciting. But uh, yeah, I, I pretty much agree with everything that Derek has said. Uh, even though we had to move around a lot and the doors are slamming, people are leaving. The, it's, it's the end of this day here uh, at the uh, the, the LA Film Festival, but uh, I'm really glad if I don't come back, I'm really glad that I saw this wonderful, amazing documentary that reminded me of one of my favorite documentaries that is on filmmaking, and that would be American Movie. This is like almost like a companion piece. This guy Giuseppe just has so much passion. He has a little bit of money, he has had some experience working in the business on other films, but he just has so much love and passion for making these films. Maybe, you know, some people, most people will probably think these movies are terrible. 
I just don't care because he just has a love for it. And I think if you're passionate about something, whether it's about movies or politics or cars or sports, just go out and do it. Don't 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 care what other people are thinking about that. Just go and 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 love your passion. And I think that's what the, that's what director Adam Rifkin and in the Q and A he explained that that he was just excited that the guy had so much love and passion that he had to be had to had to capture this a documentary. He's been friends with the guy for many many years, and it was so unique to find out what this guy's been working on. And this 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 kid who's probably in his 30s now has been in films. You know, it's said like in Independence Day and Unstrung Heroes and Detroit Rock City. But, you know, it just, it was so fascinating and interesting. I love how cheap the movie was, too. The movie was shot cheaply. It almost felt like it was shot with, a, with an old camera from the 1980s. At the same time as, you know, it has the technology of today that goes back and forth. But we just really get to meet all these weird cast of characters as this guy just going on, you know, going and making this movie. And it's inspirational to me because I love film, and I'm not very good at it. I know that I, you know, I, 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 I maybe I can make better films than this guy, but maybe this guy can make better films than me. Who really knows? I mean, this guy just has so much drive, so much passion, and he doesn't care what people think. He just wants to go out and do it. He makes his weird movies. He makes his strange films, and they go and he it played at a festival. It, it plays plays places, and now the guy's living in Austin, Texas, and he's continuing to make movies. I was really, really moved by this film. At the same time, complete entertainment. It's hilarious, but it has so much heart to it. That's the surprising thing. Yes, it's hilarious, it's funny, but at the same time, there's a big heart that's just pounding throughout this entire film, and it really connected with the character. Great documentary filmmaking. Uh, congratulations to Adam Rifkin and his entire team, and it was really great to meet him and the entire cast. I really enjoyed the film, and I'm so glad I saw it tonight. So, again, I highly recommend I hope that it does come out. It says it's come out in the fall. I don't know what format it's ever going to be. If it's going to get an initial release somehow in the art theaters, or if it's going to go on uh, on uh, on uh, stream on, on online. So, either way, I look forward to seeing it again, and it was a really great to see it. It was a lot of fun and very inspirational and just so unique and different. I didn't expect it. I did not expect what Giuseppe makes a movie was going to be about, and uh, what a great treat that was. I mean, that's the great thing about going to these film festivals is to have these kinds of experiences. So there is my review of Giuseppe makes a movie. Find it out, check it out. Uh, hopefully, it'll be available some way, somehow, and I recommend that you see the film. I am Movie Man Chad. Again, I want to thank Derek Easley for this whole experience today. And please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePod.com. And if you've enjoyed this video review, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Derek, do you want to close it out and say a few things with me? Yay! Talk about indie guerrilla filmmaking. We have the, our <laughs> camera plugged in the wall here as people are exiting the LA Film Festival. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching this. Please check out this film. Support these filmmakers. Um, you can find me at Fortress of Derek on Twitter. You can check me out on IMDb and her Facebook under Derek Easley. As Chad said, check out our group, the Long Beach Acting and Film Association, lbafa.org. Or you can find us on Facebook under Long Beach Acting and Film Association. I write for Game Fob Network. A big shout out and thank you to Game Fob for uh, sending us here to the Los Angeles Film Festival. Um, you can check out GameFob.com. And um, this is just a great experience. And this film was very touching and moving on a human level and also as an artist and a filmmaker. This guy, uh, Giuseppe Andrews, you know, he writes stuff, he directs stuff, he acts and stuff, he does his own music. So uh, shout outs to him, you know, for doing just doing it, making movies on the low budget and with uh, low quality cameras and who cares, just grab some friends, grab, grab some actors and shoot what you grab want to do. Grab some friends. <laughs> yeah, what a strange experience. I loved it. I loved the loved film. It. Fantastic. And, it's uh, art, baby. It's, this is art. <laughs> what did he say at the end when he was like, you know, oh, you already mentioned it about the continuity. Oh, yeah. That Forget was, it. That was in the beginning. There's a lot, there's a lot of, there, honestly, great film. There's a lot of wonderful lines in the film. There was a I'm fantastic never thing at the end about, um, you know, making a movie uh, for yourself and to entertain yourself and that something that's meaningful for your friends like this is was a family working atmosphere for these people that gave them something to do uh, people were struggling with hardship and illness and just getting out of their trailer or getting off the street to come together and enjoy working together so it was just a fantastic moving thing for these filmmakers and for the people involved and I appreciate that Adam Ripkin and his team again brought it to us and brought it to the world. And they had a, I trailer, never about it. had a trailer across the street where they're serving alcohol and beer and booze and 
doing karaoke and it was awesome <laughs> for them to invite us over there and yeah. we enjoyed it. Yeah, so glad we made it. Alright buddy. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe we to everything we mentioned. We Thanks. live film. And uh, go check out Giuseppe Makes a Movie. Peace everyone.